Hi. If you've been following my work, you know that an essential part of what I teach about posture is that we really need to be able to feel the ground. We need to have our feet fully able to take in the sensation that the ground is there to support us. But many times our feet are blocked in their capacity to actually take in that sensation of support. So I thought I would share a simple exercise that could help you change the way your feet respond to the ground. So here goes. This exploration brings awareness to the two bones of your lower leg. The tibia, which starts here below the outside edge of your knee, and the fibula, which is a thick bone just below your kneecap. The tibia is like a pedestal and the fibula like an outrigger. The space between the two bones is filled with membrane and muscle attachments which can become hard and gristly if we have the unconscious habit of pulling up away from contact with the earth. Then this area becomes tense. So by bringing awareness to the reality of these two bones, we can actually begin to reduce some of that tension. The first step is to find that knob at the top of your fibula. It's right here on the outer edge below your knee. It feels about an inch thick. It's kind of hard like a marble. And you're going to begin to walk your fingers down, your finger pads, and your thumb is positioned on the back edge of the bone. Your fingers wrap around to the front edge. And you're just going to walk your fingers down slowly along the fibula, taking time to really feel it. So let your bone be touched by your fingers, but also let your fingers be touched by the density of the bone. So you're reaching your awareness through the soft tissue, through the flesh, to something harder underneath, something like a thin tree branch. You might find a few tender spots along the way, places where muscles have become extra tight. The purpose here is not massage, the purpose is awareness. So you're walking all the way down to the big knob at the bottom near the top of your foot. Alright, so that's your fibula. Let's go over to the tibia. And you get your fingers around in the indentation between the fibula and its neighbor. So your fingers, your uh, index finger is there and your thumb is along the inside edge. So you'll notice as you walk down how much more dense and heavy and firm this bone is. And just take, take time to really feel the difference between the two. Let your fingers be innocent. This is a crazy thing to be doing, feeling your bones. But never mind. Just do it. Take in the sensation of your tibia all the way down to the big knob on the inner edge of your ankle. So it's commonly thought that these two knobs at the bottom of the tib and fib are the ankle bone, we call that the ankle bone. But in fact, you see, it's not the ankle bone, it's the two, the two bones we're, we're trying to feel. The ankle bone is this bone at the top of the foot, it's called the talus, and together the tibia, fibula, and talus make up the ankle joint. So let's go again, a little more slowly. Another thing you can do is to hold on to the tibia, fibula, sorry, 
and just move your ankle up and down. And you might be able to feel that knob just sort of glide up and down again. Just a micron it's in its relationship to the tibia. If you can't feel it, just imagine that happening. And then if you move your foot in and out with your fingers gently clasping the top of the tib and fib, you might feel their relationship change. And similarly, if you roll and rotate your foot in and out, you'll especially feel the fibula moving. And then take your time to walk your way down the two bones again. As I said before, the reason this is important is that if your feet are tense, the soft tissues in between these two bones becomes gristly, and the muscles around them becomes dense and hard. And then your capacity to cushion your footsteps is lost. In this case, the loss of awareness of having two bones is lost as well. And when you lose the awareness of having two bones, that makes the tension even worse. We'll just take a little more time to feel and really tune in to your awareness of fibula and tibia. And then, let's just stand up. Once you're on your feet, you might be able to notice the difference between the way the carpet feels under your right foot, the leg that you worked on, and under the left. Gently bend and straighten your knees and ankles, and notice whether there's a difference in the way that the right ankle and the left ankle seem to move. You can also rotate your feet in and out. And again, notice the relationship between the way that feels on the right side and on the left. You might be able to feel a difference as far up as your knee and even as far up as your hip joint. And then take a few steps around your room. As you're walking back and forth right now, you'll probably experience a difference in the way your body feels support through your right leg compared to the left. Keep walking so you really take in that sensation. And then sit down and give just as much time and attention to your left tibia and fibula. After that, you'll need to go out and take a real walk so you can incorporate the sensation of support into your brain map. You'll probably need to renew the sensation of support for a while, say once a day or at least once a week. It's like learning a new language. But if you do it, you'll probably find surprising benefits for your tennis game or your yoga practice or anything you do on your feet. Remember, your feet start just below your knees. Thank you for watching.